Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS4 channel. Today I would like to show you how we can have the automatic area update in QGIS. As you see, we have one layer here, parcel information, and it's over 300 uh, features in it. And after that, okay, we have uh, such a geometry. And if I just click on it, you see the shape, uh, shape area is around uh, 35,000. And uh, so it means I would like to change right now the geometry. And if I change it, I would like to see the automatic update. Let's start. And if I just uh, and click here and just, uh, you know, editing, uh, toggle editing. And if I just click, I would like to change it. For example, if I just click, for example, make it a little bigger. And it's, it's just a sample. It's up to your project. As you see, I made it. Uh, a lot bigger right now and if I just save and if I just click again you see there is no change into the shape area so one you know manual things or uh, somehow the traditional things going again to your uh, open attribute table and after that uh, updating your shape area with the uh, uh, here select by expression and you know updating this column but you know it is a somehow the wrong way or it's a really time consuming way and the best way is that if you just come here properties and after that attribute forms and coming to the shape area here default value we can uh, assign it to the areas and if I just if you just go to the geometry areas here you know function areas defining this function and after that here apply default value on update so it means the values if you have any uh, update into your areas it will be updated apply okay and after that if I just going back and starting to change the geometry here and save and right now uh, let's click and you see it will be updated and it's right, right now is over uh, 70,000 uh, this this value so right now you can automatic update uh, your uh, areas with this uh, area function in the attribute form configuration in this tutorial I would like to add another uh, important uh, point uh, which is really related to the areas and uh, just imagine you got the one uh, task or request that uh, for example the customer would like to know how is the sum of the area for uh, for example for this category as you see in the parcel info copy uh, layer if I just open the properties and you see the symbology you see I made uh, categorize according to the price and for example if the value is uh, 15 euros and if you know for example you can define the legend of that and here in the layer panel you see we have 163 values for the price 15 euros and for example price is 25 euros we have 47 values or features in it and the customers would like to know for example if there is the 15 uh, 15 euros we have 163 values how is the sum of the uh, areas in it so it's easy this task we can uh, first of all come to this uh, icon here show statistical summary and it will be activated here and you can just choose your uh, statistic according to which layer and after that from which column shape area as you see right now is coming it's a, even it's very helpful for us because right now with the one uh, some clicks we got the counts how many do we have and after that sum of all areas which is uh, this value here but we would like to see if it's just the 15 euros what should we do first of all we must activate this selected feature only right now it will be nothing in it because uh, nothing has been uh, choose here what is easy maybe I can show you if I just click this one it will be updated it's just the is you have is uh, if you see it's a count is one and it's the area just from this and if I just add more it will be more for example here you see the number is increasing but if you would like to have it maybe you can deselect it and open the attribute table for example and after that here just you can define the category if I just come to the fields and value 
and the price equal all unique value 15 select all select features as you see here the number of the values is 163 and this is exactly the sum of all areas which are 15 euros and you can just continue for the rest which is very helpful for you and you know this is somehow is a live statistics but you would like to have this result into the uh, as a, a table because of that, I would like to add uh, another part in this tutorial. If you just come and uh, uh, write, uh, write it down, vector analysis, and after that, statistics by categories here in the processing tools. And if I just click, you can just define input vector layer. Here you can even define the select feature only, but it's not necessary, it's up to you. And after that, the fields, uh, to be calculated you know it's uh, according to the shape area and after that here uh, according to the price and if I just run you see statistics by category and if I just open exactly you see right now the categories here uh, ac exactly according to the categories let me just open it again here and if you just look here you see uh, this 25 and if I just make it a little bigger sum here you have the result how many uh, how is it uh, how, uh, how, how is the result of that and after that if you just come to the 20 uh, 270 98 15 540 this is exactly the result of that yeah I hope you enjoy from this video and this is a very helpful and practical topic for them for the many uh, GIS user and if you have any question or suggestion please write it down in the comment section and we will answer your question as soon as possible thank you very much for your attention and see you soon